Hey you guys! Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video today, we are doing like a declutter my closet with me closet organization, like how I decluttered kind of video. I just want to preface, I did not film this declutter. Like I didn't actually film the whole process. There are bits and pieces in and behind the scenes of vlog, but I mean I didn't properly do it because it took me about four and a half, five hours to properly clear out my closet, proper gut it, and then put everything back so I kind of just did it and I was like I'll show you guys the after shots because I mean you guys have seen the mess of my closet multiple times before it ain't messy anymore and I'm very happy about it so before I show you the after and the organizational part keeping in mind I have not done laundry yet this week my hair's off but I don't like it up so let's take it down I was just looking in the monitor guys this will do. Okay, cool. I had it up because I was filming all the close-ups and I was like in the zone. I have a list of things, um, so I just want to jump into it. The first thing is I personally believe in donating to charity um, instead of selling my clothes. I mean, it depends on what it is. If it still had tags attached, I'd probably sell it. But I, The only things that I have in my closet that have tags are two rompers from last summer and it never got warm enough to wear the rompers and when I tried them on they still fit and I was literally just thinking I'm kind of glad I still have those rompers so they stayed in my closet. Um, the charity I picked is our local SPCA thrift store. Our animal shelter, the SPCA, has a thrift store that accepts donations and they resell the items you donate and it's located on Topsail Road um, and then those items that get sold go to the funding of the SPCA. So anyway, I was super glad I could do that. Um, I love doing it. Lola and I try to help out whenever we can. They also accept towels and blankets and everything else. So if you have anything bumming around you'd like to donate, it's a great cause. <clears throat> so <clears throat> so today I want to talk to you guys about some of the hacks I found on Pinterest to organize. I think there's only one because I kind of have my own way of life of doing things and I kind of like doing them my way. Um, but I also want to talk to you about why I chose to do it, the space, how I bulked it down, and my decision making process. So my closet has like a high rack that holds like jackets, house coats, all that stuff. Then there's a shelf above it and another shelf above it. Then there's like a row of cubes, like four very wide cubes. Then there's a hangered shelf with a shelf mid-length below it and then underneath it is just empty space. In that empty space, I have my nine drawer cubed dresser that houses a lot of my clothes. And then the other storage I have is below my bed. There's three drawers. Only two of them are clothes. One is not clothes related at all. It's just like extra life stuff, technology stuff, stuff you all don't really need to see. And so um, I decided I wanted to have two drawers for athletic wear, one for bottoms and one for tops and bras one drawer for sweatpants, one drawer for work clothes, one drawer for pajamas, one drawer for uh, just socks because I have athletic socks and regular socks, and then a summer clothes drawer and then a fall winter clothes drawer. So that's eight and there's nine drawers. Amanda, think about that again. That makes sense. Yeah. I said sweats, pajamas, Oh, and then the ninth drawer is like these foldable skirts, cardigans, nothing, like there's no specific occasion I can kind of wear them whenever I want drawer. Under my bed I have my underwear and I have all of my denim slash jeggings, that kind of thing. So, um, <clears throat> I basically decided to do this because let me give you an example. My athletic wear drawer would not close in my nine cube dresser. Um, then... I had a drawer of underwear in my nine drawer cabinet, a drawer of underwear underneath my bed, and a drawer for just bras underneath my bed. Like, it was excessive, you guys. The Victoria's Secret semi-annual clearances have got me, and when Victoria's Secret first opened here, their deals here were really, really good. Like, you could get two bras for 49 bucks. You could get nine pairs of underwear for 36 bucks. So naturally, when Victoria's Secret opened, I got a lot of stuff. Um, so basically I don't donate my undergarments um, because it's just not hygienic. So I ended up tossing those. So in total I donated two big bags to the brim. They were so heavy my dad had to come over and move them and take them to the SPCA for me. Um, and then I also got rid of half a bag of garbage which was just underwear and bras that couldn't be reused. So my decision making process on this was 
have I worn it in six months when it came to like any regular clothes. So all my fall stuff, my long sleeve stuff, my sweatpants, my yoga pants, my active wear. Have I worn it in six months? If the answer was yes, that got put in a to sort through pile. If the answer was no, and it didn't have any holes in it, and it was in good condition, it got put in the recycling bin. Recycling slash donation bin. Um, I think I only like threw out three or four items that had holes. Once I whittled down, say, my, my fall clothes and my active wear clothes, I then went through that pile again, and I examined it. Did it have any holes? Did I still like the colors? Did it still fit? Because I am losing a few pounds, so some things didn't fit, and if it didn't fit, it just got chucked after that, even if I did like it. So I whittled it down again, and then I organized everything by active wear shirts, active wear pants, and then, say, long sleeve, fall-ish clothes, and then, like, sweatpants, where I organized it all out, put it in the drawers. And I mean, by just making that decision process, it was pretty fast when, once I got into it, which is why I didn't film it, because if I had to film it, it wouldn't have been a fast process. Um, my summer clothes, obviously the six month rule didn't apply because there's been nine months of winter here in St. John's. I'm still wearing a long sleeve shirt because it is cold this morning. Um, I do have my denim shorts on because I bought them and then I haven't worn them. So I was like, I'm going to suck it up and I'm going to wear denim shorts today. I mean, it's supposed to hit 12 degrees, so I suppose it'll be warm. Um, so my summer clothes, I went through it and I know I don't get a lot of summer hair. So in that summer drawer are all of my summer dresses, skirts and tops because we don't get a lot of summer so what's the point of keeping it um that was literally my answer um there's no real process there i did keep outside of my summer clothes there's like two tank tops in there that have paint stains on them from when i was painting rooms and stuff and i kept those because i always have like home projects i need to work on and i kept them for that purpose not to be worn outside though um, but that was it pretty much my pajamas i had three drawers of those and i whittled that down to one I mean, guys, I had a lot of pajamas with holes in them, and I was still hanging on to them because they were fluffy and warm. I mean, I do definitely need to go purchase a new pair of fleece pajamas, but the pair I threw out were seven years old. So, I mean, I was hanging on to crap for a long time. Um, in terms of my underwears and bra, underwears, no, underwear and bras, I basically went through those. Anything that had underwire peeking through, anything that was super bright and wasn't practical, I got rid of. Because, to be honest with you, I've got, like, these really beautiful printed bras, and I don't wear them. They're just pretty. And it's not like I'm in a relationship and there's someone who can see them. I mean, like, they're pretty, but who am I going to show them to? So I only kept, like, two of those that would look good under, like, black things. Um, I've moved all of my nude bras to the front because I don't wear them, and I have, like, five. Whites, light pinks, grays, any basic colors I kept. There's two, like I said, printed ones, and one teal one with leopard straps that I love that I always wear under black tank tops and stuff. It makes it look like you're wearing a So that is in the drawer with all the underwear. My over 300 pairs of underwear I've whittled down to 60. Just because. I mean, like, they used to be, like, a mess. Now they're just laid flat on top of each other, and I can pop one off the pile and just wear it. So I have underwear, guys, that I've never worn. So I washed them all yesterday, and I put them in the drawer, and it literally looks like I just went to Victoria's Secret and bought new ones when they've been in my house the whole time. Um, so outside of that, the... Uh, do -do 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 the other two things I really wanted to find a home for, like properly, were my handbags and my towels. I have my towels folded in like squares and they're on the top cubby in my um, in my room. And I mean, that's fine, but I mean, they never looked nice. And I was like, there has to be a better way to use this cubby with the towels to make them organized. So instead I kind of half rolled them semi lengthwise and I'll show you. And I mean, they all fit so much better. Nothing's falling down. They fit like really snug. Um, and the other thing I was really focused on getting some organization for were my handbags. I really wanted, like I have a lot of stuff that hangs behind my door and it doesn't really fit. So I didn't want things to get squished. And then the cubby above that is where my tote bag is. My winter skates are like my Lululemon bag. Things I don't use often but still need to reach that I don't want to put in storage. Because I mean I have a box of purses in my closet that I don't use regularly that are for special occasions. Then in the cubby above that... I had to keep boxes, and I have a box of like cords and stuff that I need access to, but I only need like once a month. So I put that on top. And then while I was cleaning up my closet, I found my stuffed minions. And I mean, I can't part with them. I love those little friggers. So those are on display in the top cubby now. 
So um, that's pretty much it. I will say I do have a lot of shoes. They're also in my closet. I didn't declutter those because I decluttered when I moved in. And I mean, I only have like office attire, work attire, friendly, casual adventure shoes now. So I mean, I keep it really real. So I guess all I have to say right now is I'm not a professional. I do not declutter for a living. These tips are just things I use to minimize my closet clutter. Um, I mean, you can look up on Pinterest. One thing Pinterest um, says is you can flip your hangers around, and I'll show you that I did it. And they, when you flip them, it looks like it gives you more space. I mean, it gives the illusion because I did not take a lot off my hangers that were in my closet. My closet was to the brim. And I mean, I got space that's about this wide left, so that's pretty cool. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you all super, super soon. I love you guys. Bye!